and foremost, Bill. Yes. Where did you get that beard? Um, I got it at uh, Walmart. They're a buck twenty-nine. You can get your own. Um, I got it from uh, a job that I got in 1985. Uh, it was a ZZ Top clone band, and that was the first thing they told me to do: is start growing your beard. And then I grew attached to it. I really liked it, so I kept it. was making up melodies and writing songs before I played guitar and I think honestly I'll be honest with you it was when the Beatles hit uh, I just uh, puberty and the Beatles hit at the same time so I had I just was propelled I had to play the guitar and uh, I really enjoyed it and, and just kept going Played with a lot of bands. One particular thing uh, 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 that I'm reminded of is uh, Aerosmith's uh, first gig at Massey Hall in Toronto. That was particularly thrilling. And uh, BTO, uh, the um, um, Rush a lot, uh, April Wine in the old days, and the Stampeders from Calgary is one of the very first when I was just a young man. Came touring across the West with those guys and. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're just tons. I've been very, very lucky. Very lucky. On the spirit's journey, you never know where you'll be. So bring enough sweet medicine to do for you and me, baby, now. About uh, six years ago, um, I thought, you know, I want to get together a, a kind of a fuzzy, psychedelic blues band. It's just, that was my artistic heart. And um, that's what I've been doing ever since then. And uh, we've got a couple of albums now. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of having a, uh, people are rediscovering me or discovering me uh, for the first time. And I'm, I, to tell you the truth, I'm getting a real kick out of it because uh, I am 60 years old and I'm kind of uh, starting a whole new phase of the career. And luckily I have a bunch of experience behind me, but it, you know, it's very fulfilling. And uh, really what I want to do for the rest of my life is just play for people, have, let people see me play and uh, as many people as possible. And uh, everywhere around the world I can, I can go. The best thing is when um, one of the songs that um, me and my writing partner have written touches somebody's heart and they come and they say, wow, that really, you know, they were crying or whatever. That's, that's the best thing ever, you know. Um, uh, the idea of, of, of getting people out of their everyday headspace and, and, and having a relief from, from life and, and showing, getting some love in there as well, that's the biggest, biggest thrill. And that happens a fair amount, thank goodness, and uh, uh, that's the best, that's the best.